tree trouble. It's a touch left. And we can get past the tree. It's almost right behind it. Well, we shall see. Just relying on a few bounces. Didn't have to do too much manufacturing, but might need to do a bit of homework with the next putt to come. We've seen a lot in that last hour, haven't we? Ever coming up short, expecting it to release. And back into her third shot at the par five third. Two good ones to here. Go on, go on. Oh, it's a lovely part right in the middle of it. it? Almost have to get a little bit further away. This one just naturally feeds down. It's quite quick, even though the greens are slow. It's quite a down slope to the hole for McElroy. If it gets the chance to get there, stayed right up on top of the tier. It's this man has putted well all week without holding that much. The line's good. This is the speed there. Oh, no, really. Cool, calm and collected. Thank you. But these are tough tee shots. We're right! I see a bit of it, but that's a thick clump that's there. <laughs> that guy's taking a picture of his ball there. <laughs> Exactly what Anthony said, just hung up in the air. Like Roy, little pitch and run, pitch on the first flat bit, and then it'll just release up the hill. They went there. It's not hard enough, though. That's oh. very poor. It's going back down as well. Oh, Rory. No, his best. He's going to struggle for bogey now. Up the hill, then over it. Could race away from you at the fourth today. Robert McIntyre's there for his birdie. Nice touch. Oh. It's a bogey back to 12. Tied at the top. Go. Uh, go. Shout and go while he's not connected, but it's perfect. Miles down to stay in the fairway. Just makes it. Well, it's pretty good, but still a little bit harder than it would have been. Is to get within two. Is to get within. Oh, Robert. Just drifting away a little bit. A good, solid, steady week for him, though. Right in there. There's such a lot of golf yet to be played today. Yeah, no surprise. McElroy is easily reaching this par five. 217. Pick any club he wants. He's going to have to probably use the breeze. It's just too strong to hold it. Uh, has he overdrawn it slightly? Pretty darn good, but we're going to miss this green. It's a lot easier from beyond. Oh. Outside eagle chance. And there's a little something to settle the ship. A couple of putts from there. Simple birdie for Rory McElroy. Goes back to six, McIntyre. Hey. When you're not feeling comfortable. That was a poor one, Ken. Left himself a tricky four footer downwind, downhill. Incredible to watch what happens in slow motion. No Michael Wright, just right edge. Very good. <laughs> Steadies the ship back to level for the day. 13 under and two clear, along with Kim. A Scottish roar coming, hopefully. To get within two. Yep. We couldn't have made a birdie in a better place than the course for the crowd. Done Bob McIntyre. 
And with that, he draws up alongside Ben Arn and JT Poston. Likes it, he's kind of let loose with the club. It's probably left. Oh, it's horrid. Might be okay. It's a good angle in. It's in the thick rough on the left. Just forfeit so much control, don't you? As soon as you leave the fairway on a day like today. Launched it up in the air. Can we get it right? Almost another yard. He actually got that to come down soft now, didn't know how he does that. It's a remarkable run. More of the same, it seems, this week. Skid, skid. Uh, tried to keep skidding. How did it stop? He struck it so well, Robert, that's why. He's smiling one shot back. So long. Birdie chance for McIntyre on seven. He's not got the speed. It's way short. Well beat. Never noticed that, Anthony. They could get slightly across and down. It's all about the breeze at the minute. A number of players thinking the wind just might push it down the hill almost. Brian uh, Harmon as well. Struggle to get settled. A bit worried about the wall, probably, Ali. Stay there, stay there. Yeah. Stay. Has to pitch this on top, otherwise it's back off the front. Did you say eight iron, Wally? I did. When was the last time Rory McIlroy hit an A time from 117 yards? Probably about half an hour ago on the range, I would hope. Yeah. <laughs> okay, on the other side is the Galloper. Sit down. He's going to go off the front of the green. Oh, sit. Cheapers, creepers. Had the line, but uh, it's been a little bit of a roller coaster, hasn't it, for Rory McElroy over these opening holes? A couple of pars, one birdie, two drop shots. So is McIntyre. This is third. Pitching back towards it at the eighth. Delightfully done. Hi. And little Steve on it's what he's been working on actually the last few weeks. The little three quarter shot to keep it under the breeze, but again a bit steep down and it pops straight up in the air. And... Mm. It's close to being very good, but it's also close to being back in another bunker. McIntyre at night. Seventy-two yards. And, and he's got it. A dip of the knees. And that was big, wasn't it? Having just dropped a shot at five as well. There's a bunker at four twenty. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> <laughs> On. What was it? 388, something like that earlier this week. Oh, I think this is a challenger. 329 yards carrying. It's still running. Oh, don't. Yeah, magical pitch at the last. Can he manage another one here? Bob McIntyre over the little hump and hollow. Little skid. Sit down. Sit down. Skitters away. Hear it. <laughs> Look at quickly to nine. 
McIntyre, slightly back up the hill. Straight up and down. Great front line, isn't it, as well, for McIntyre. Two birdies, no drop shots as well. I was half joking when I said 420, but once you get on the top of the hill running down, you never know. But again, a lot of luck involved here, but it has to release surely from this rough. Just a question of where you land it and the trajectory. You've got to go low. Oh, amazing city up in the air. Done pretty well. He's doing pretty darn well. To get back to level par today. Just about enough for McElroy. Back to 13 under alongside Tom Kim. He's got about oh, 10 feet or so for his par. Are oh, we going to see a, another swing? As we did at the fifth. Oh, God, you, you thought he was going to make it, but just with the six inches of go, I thought, no, it's just going to hang there. Oh, that was unruly. Almost looking more down the right than left today. McIntyre second at the tenth, downwind left to right to just a wicked green. There you can see the slope short and to the right, kicks right down to the hole. Hard to do much better than that. Oh, he went for the low one off the downhill light. And it got he has it to sit. How did that ball sit down so quickly? Almost like it hit in a hole. So to 10 and McIntyre. And this is for an Eagle three to climb alongside Tom Kim. You have to think, Dom, he needs a win to make the Ryder Cup team. Had a chance last week at the Made in Himmerlin. Kind of threw it away on the back nine, but he every week he seems to be there does McIntyre. No, no, we just hung it out to the left, so it's a four-way tie at the top. McElroy, Hatton, the Scotsman McIntyre, and Tom Kim. Fleetwood and Ann just one behind. He likes it. Oh, why not? It was gorgeous. What a shot from McIntyre. Very aggressive. A lot of spin. Not to get to 13 under. Well, he'll have played a few times up at uh, Glen Cruton and Open, won't he, in these conditions? You don't want this getting more than 30 feet in the air. Let's go, Murray! Turn to left. Oh, goodness me, Rory. No shout either. Not good. Just off the right edge. Pushed it. Yeah, you heard him saying, pushed it. Shame. McElroy's lie is better, flatter, cleaner, but he's still got the same issues. Oh, well, still. <laughs> well, that was a really poor one as well, 15 feet wide. When you look at it from there, you see how bad it was for him. It's at eight and nine for McElroy. So he drops back to 11 under. He's now two off the pace. Here's Robert McIntyre, just one behind at the 12th. Harder shot for a lefty with this downwind. Soft. Left to right. Yeah. Soft. He's missed it on the 
leeward side of the green, but trying to feed down off the slope. You can see the slope even into the wind is coming down. Did well, Jay. That could have been trouble, but it's not. But this is your chance to maybe make a couple of birdies, McElroy. Oh. This is lost ball area. My little miles, right? Sort bounce. Couldn't be on the path. Surely not. Good three. This is one behind. Terrell Hatton in front of him. He's had to take his hat off, hasn't he? We saw a couple of players chasing their caps down the fairways when the uh, winds gusted a little earlier. McIntyre, just a four or five iron today. Straight downwind. Stays up on the uh, higher of the two halves, Sam. He had a wander up, got a line. He's iron this down. Needs to hold it up the right. He can get to the back of the ball. Well, I can see the ball may have a glimmer. That's where we go now. To his second at 13. Just watch the leader to hat and three putt this one. Oh, that's, well, that's slightly better. Especially on day two and three for McElroy. That one misses on the high side as well. McElroy, can he find a fairway? He's only done it once today. Yeah. Uh, all right. Got the path again. <laughs> Gusting up to 25 miles an hour, you can't pop it too high in the air. Drilling it. 154 yards. Oh, what a shot. Oh, and a little unlucky. Oh, my. I don't believe that. I can see that again. <laughs> How close was that going? I was closer than it finished anyway. Yeah, it was yeah I mean, the two, the two from the fairway, I thought should have done better so I'm just wondering whether this possibly could be the easier shot because he knows it's going to release but he has to pitch this length if he wants to do that. He'll just go straight out at Sam. Oh, oh. He's extraordinary isn't he? McIntyre makes his move. He's got the lead on his own now. He wants to be in Italy. All the right, the cup. Great stuff. Michael right down the hill. Yes. There's still one behind, though. It's got Robert McIntyre. Tough to get it close, Sam. Yeah. Though. We've not seen one really close yet. I thought that on the last, though, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's just as bad as it gets there from McElroy. Since we'll play downwind, doesn't want to reach that bunker that Tyrrell Hatton got perilously close to. Does bring the right bunkers into play. The crowd like it. And so will he now. Love to stop. Well, that's perfect. Nestled a little bit, but this is doable. Needs to carry this all the way. Not easy. Had to get it up quick when he didn't really want to with the breeze helping, but chance of saving his file. No, Bobby McIntyre, the leader. Throwing right on the pin. There's the distance. 
Oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's actually better than that. It's magnificent for McIntyre. Certain birdie, 14 under, too clear. Just get back and off. Come on, Rory. It's got to go in. It doesn't. It does. Oh, <laughs> just turned in time. Look at that smile. Thought he'd miss it. It's in, though, no, Rory. Getting nervous. Well, the camera can't keep it still. Well done, buddy. Oh, thank goodness for that. 14 under, too clear. He stays up the right half as well. Just makes the second a little trickier. Right into the teeth of the wind. <laughs> Hard to tell, it could just be short, a very soft bounce, and there's a deep pop there. Where Oh, that could be a really unkind bounce for McElroy. That's going to go down into the bowl, and that makes it a completely different putt. God, that was a frisky bounce. Slow, piercing through the wind. Is he another brown line, though? Ooh. And with so much spin on it, there are always... Uh more likely to dive. There's no bunker down there. It's just a little collection area, a little swale. Won't be overly straightforward, however, for the up and down. On the left-hand side of the green at 13. He's almost going to have to put up the point of the ridge. There's almost a, a little bulbous swale right up there. Pace putt. Oh. Nearly perfect. Good heavens. <laughs> that was a great effort, wasn't it? Well, it did, it sort of scampered up with a little few hair-like hops. Oh, I think he thought he had it. Leads now back to one. And no lead is safe. So. It is pretty good. Just inks its way down onto the putting surface. Drifting on the wind. Oh, it's a little unlucky. It gets gathered off the green, but could have just done with the carrying another couple of yards. Rattle. Oh, it's a beautiful part. Oh, it's gone in! Goodness me, I thought it was just going to miss right. It's gone in. Oh, my God. McElroy tied at the top with McIntyre. Well, well, well. He held a nice one there yesterday, didn't he? The 14th has been kind to Rory McElroy. How about the two greens? The other part three. Nicely played, not easy to get it all the way there. So we're tied at the top, two clear of Hatton and Kim. And he's up to the task as well. 
a crucial par for McIntyre. Doogie and Carol, his mum and dad are out watching. Sister Jill, Nicola, and foster brother Thomas out in the crowd. His mum and dad foster children, isn't that a lovely thing to do? Left again, Molly. We'll be in the bunker this time, though. Oh, oh it's all right. Six stuff oh, over there. It's all right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. found the path, is he? Gonna feed round a little bit. He's the only man that can spoil the Scottish party. Not as close as it could have been. He had a rescue out, now he's gone to what looks as if it could be his three wood down the shaft. He's gonna hit a cutty shot. And he's he would be hot favourite if he can make a par getting down in three from here. Big cut, little low sliding one. Right to left. Tougher shot with this club, though. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, my. What a shot. One of the best shots I've ever seen in my life. Under the circumstances, absolutely. What a shot. But it wasn't just a plain, straightforward forearm for the middle of the pair. There were so many ingredients in that. The strong wind, the little three-quarter shot. Just watch it. Down the shaft, little cut on it. Oh, it's like a sort of three-wood with a wedge. The height, everything. Oh! Magnificent. Would probably almost seal it. Again, wasn't it? It was okay now. He's got that extra power, just managed to tiptoe over the edge of that bunker. He enjoyed it. What a roar! What a birdie for Scotland's Bob McIntyre. And what a round of golf! A 64 in these brutal conditions. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Is it going to be enough to win him the Genesis Scottish Open? We are going to find out over the next, what, 45 minutes, hour or so. Drink it in, Bob. One of the great rounds, Sam, isn't it? And what a shot at the last. My goodness. Shot of the year at the last. This has to say. He's got the flight, he's got the line. Oh, God, this is dangerous. No, it's gone left. Oh. Did he hear the roar from 18, Anthony? No, I don't believe so, but there is a scoreboard just right. He's gone high. <laughs> Nicely done, little high floaty one. Well, you'd have to say advantage McIntyre after that. McElroy's got two tough holes coming up in 17 and 18 now. It just did, but all the other ones did there. It just doesn't turn as... Be good, Sam. It's going to be good. When this finishes, you're going to like it. You're going to really like it. What a shot. What a shot. And I like it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's magnificent. It's, 
I don't think it was as good as Bob's on 18, but it was bloody close. Exciting stuff. Still got 18 to go though. Let's... We said at the start of the day, 17 and 18, we're going to tell a bit of a story. Now it's just down to number 18. 17 has told something of the narrative of the day. Then we saw that we are, or they're coming back towards you. I think he moved slightly there because it was coming more into him. It's definitely aiming straighter. Magnificent. That feels a lot of club to me. Yeah, I like a back foot draw with the four originally. This comes out low, it will just keep on running. Oh, out of the divot, ball below your feet, wind in your face. This is no, it looks simple. like it's cutting it into the wind, Ken. Here we go. Yeah, as he's cut it in, is it too much? Oh, for goodness sake, what is going on? <laughs> oh, no, what a shot, Rory McIlroy. I'm sorry I'm not quite as excited as Rory McIlroy, but that was just magnificent What's again, Ken. You know, what a party palm, a drill, it never got above 10 feet off the ground, never left the flag. My goodness, what a change of clubs. Oh, my God. How good is that? Yeah, I two arms in a row, near perfection. see it again here. This is just magnificent. Low left to right. Carries it all the way. Comes up soft. Look at that. My goodness me. And Bob's not far away listening to that roar, but it wants him thinking now it's stiff, it's in. It's... Look at that, it's not the face. Another really great shot. So low for such a powerful club. An exhibition we're oh, seeing. It's just, it's just... Oh. for the title. Well, he's broken a few Scottish hearts, I'm afraid. But what a finish from Rory McIlroy. McIlroy lands his first victory here in Scotland. And you can't argue about that finish. Yes, I know Bob McIntyre played an extraordinary shot into the 18th there. But for McIlroy to finish birdie birdie at 17 and 18 on those two top holes. Incredible. Fantastic. I thought the, the length he was waiting for the ball to drop and last, it wasn't going in. But it was more the fragility or whatever it was. Is. But he'd done it. Great stuff, McElroy. Can not argue with that. Feel sorry for Bob, but he gave it everything. And what a win for Rory. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.